Foreigner, 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 foreigner. My bitch too foreigner geese. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to come on here and end the Mexico vlog. I'm back, <clears throat> as you guys can see, and um, I just wanted to explain why like, I didn't really vlog a lot of the trip. Like, there was a lot going on. We were there for a bachelorette trip. I ended up losing my voice. It's now just coming back, and it's the 8th of August, and I got back on the first I think the first or the second I can't remember and I had no voice the second day of the trip there was just a lot going on like everything activity wise being with the girls was amazing um, but when it came down to the room it it wasn't great <laughs> it wasn't a great experience and um, I think there was like mold or whatever was in our room because it ended up making me extremely sick to the point I lost my voice overnight. So I didn't end up vlogging. Um, that was one of the reasons. The other reason was I was really just enjoying the time with like my friends, um, even though I didn't get to make it out to one of the events, but just really enjoying time with my friends, um, connecting with um, my one of my closest friends on like um, another level. Um, and you know laughing crying but for me as much as like this trip was obviously for celebratory reasons um it was a eye opener and a, a healing almost part of my healing for me um a lot has happened over you know this past year in my life and it caused me to really question myself and go through uh, experiences I've never had to go through before. Since I've been back, I've been watching like Taja and Kyra um, and just really, you know, going through their life's like, tra like their life transformations with them as I go through my own. And it's really opened my eyes to things that I have been struggling to communicate. I'm a Taurus. I don't really believe in those signs, but I do have a lot of the personality or characteristics of a Taurus. I'm also just me. I'm an introvert. I'm very stubborn. Um, it takes me a while to open up to people, um, especially with my emotions and not just strangers, even with my, my, my mom and my dad. Like I'm not a physically emotional or affectionate person i don't like to talk about my feelings um and i have been working on doing that more often i've also been working on like my relationship with god and you know it's your relationship with god is always going to be relationshiping you know you're going to have a lot of ups and downs you're going to have moments of sadness uh, moments of desperation you know happy moments um, angry moments a lot of things that you know go into that but what this trip made me realize is that like i've been so like hard on myself and like so critical and so mean and i just i didn't realize how like defeated i felt <laughs> i didn't realize like how defeated i felt um in life and it's like no matter what good was coming in i i just couldn't appreciate it because I was just so focused on myself and having like angry thoughts as well as victimizing and playing the victim all the time and just not getting over things from my past and I'm ready to just move on from that it's hard and like yeah I'm not gonna sit up in here and say it's easy but we cannot continue to lay, let our past dictate our future and how we live, um, you know, and it's just crazy. Um, it's just crazy to me, like everything that I've gone through um, 
in you know my relationship and embracing singleness and all of that stuff i'm sure you guys can read between the lines and know what's going on know what's happened from my past but it's just it was difficult it was a feeling that i just couldn't put my finger on and i'm just now realizing how much i stop myself from feeling those emotions like therapy and just ignoring everything and like now being faced with all of those things through my season of like happiness and growth it's it, something i just can't believe i allowed myself to get that low um and i'm not good at explaining my feelings so seeing like other women go through their own personal journey it's just put things into perspective um as to like what i've been having a hard time i guess coming to terms with and explaining but um i'm grateful i'm, I'm thankful that my eyes have been open and i now see my worth and uh, yeah so there's a lot in that but a lot of that has to do with why i just decided not to vlog i really just needed to have that moment in um peace to uh really realize what was going on before i came back to my reality here so i love you guys i'm gonna end the vlog because I can feel myself unraveling, um, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace. Woo, it's been days since I started this vlog. Do I even remember how to vlog anymore? Hey guys, um, happy Monday. It is another vlog. I'm trying to figure out where to put it. my tripod right now. Alright, this is gonna have to, if it works. No. Hi right, guys, happy Monday, back with another vlog. This lighting is trash. Um, but post gym, I'm starving. So I went to Bucamaranga, which is a place I've showed you guys on the vlog before. I came for one thing, okay? I came for a grilled Caesar chicken wrap with a green salad. And I ended up spending $7.00 on this apple crumble cheesecake because i just couldn't leave it it looked so good so this is like this little cafe coffee shop that i really really love they've been here for years and it's the only one of its kind so i like to support it's a family business um but i'm not spending any more money till friday if it's not gas we're not spending money oh yum freaking yum yum chef's kiss i cannot wait to bite into this wrap i gotta show you guys so this is the chicken caesar wrap and like a paladina something kind of bread and then i just got their greenhouse salad it has um cucumbers pickled onions tomatoes and arugula oh cannot wait this is better than what i originally wanted i wanted mcdonald's yeah i was gonna go spend nine dollars at mcdonald's um but i was like you know what you just worked out like don't ruin your um don't ruin your like your post-workout just calories or whatever just like just go home get something healthy and go home um hopefully i can get this vlog going but today i'm working and then i have to um what i have to do do my hair i gotta do my hair i have tough mudder this week so I'm going to have to like really, really pay attention on my hair, do like less tension hairstyles when I'm not at the office and like having to slick my hair back because Saturday I'm going to have to like slick it back with a bunch of gel. Um, but I hope you guys are doing well. It's been a while since I've like vlogged. A lot in my life has been happening and um, I'm trying to embrace change and trying to, no, not trying. I'm working on embracing change. I'm working on becoming 
a better person like i am a i'm a great person like i've come a long way but there are some things i lack due to fear and yeah they're just working on that and just getting through life because life could be really rough sometimes i hate saying life is ghetto because it's not ghetto it's just comes with the territory you know what i'm saying this is not what god intended for us it just happened because of sin so unfortunately we just have to figure out a way to navigate through the really rough points in life um but yeah i'll talk to you guys a little later i'm gonna go home eat do all that stuff i'm starving and i want to watch harley quinn harley quinn has season four out the, the anime or cartoon whatever you want to call it and i'm obsessed um it's not on netflix but i gotta watch season four so happy they came out with another season but yeah i'll chat later peace good morning guys it is september 21st and it's braces day it's invisalign day so today i get my invisaligns so expensive i started making my pay well i paid the first day and then my monthly payments just started it's expensive but i cannot wait to get my teeth corrected people may be wondering what i have to fix but I saw some things that are shifting, so did my orthodontist, so we just want to be able to, like, get it out of the way so it doesn't get worse. I uh, love my hair, by the way. So, yeah, heading to Brampton soon for that appointment. Um, I have a few attachments, they said, and then I think I get my trays today. As far as I'm concerned, I don't think I have a, any elastics with this treatment. When I had braces back in high school, I had elastics, and I know sometimes with Invisalign, you can get elastics but i don't think i'll need that but i'll see what my doctor says um i don't know if i'm gonna vlog the process i might like film a little tiktok or something on my phone i'll just tell like the, the doctors like hey like do i have permission to record the process if they say yes then i'll go ahead and record for you guys not doing much today it's day one of my cycle so i'm not really feeling the greatest i also need to buy some feminine products so <coughs> I made a go to Walmart for that later. Uh, this weekend is kind of busy for me. Later, I'm actually going apple picking. So I will blog snippets and stuff of that on my phone. Uh, but I hope you guys are doing well. And I hope you're transitioning or dealing with the transition into fall uh, really well, as much as I am. I love fall, so I'm super, super excited for the season. Bye. Alright guys, I'm on the road. I've been listening to Cleo Soul. Her voice is beautiful. Like, I don't know what an angel sounds like. And I cannot wait to hear what an angel sounds like. But her voice is just so different. Um, so peaceful. Like, so reassuring and so comforting. But anyways, I just got gas at Costco. It was like 150 one or 152 or 154 i think uh like so and stuff it's 158 so i just went 60 cents and i just went to costco to get gas sorry i need to slow down 68 dollars to fill my tank like i can't believe i'm saying that's good because i remember during lockdown gas was like 98 cents 99 cents and now it's like 158 to like 170 something um, but as of right now, I just got gas, like I said. My tank is full, thank God. Um, and then now I'm heading to the orthodontist. My appointment is not until 12.15. Right now, I'm set to get there at 11.58. So I'm just gonna, like, hang out in the parking lot until around 12. Uh, 12, 12, 10. And then I'll go inside, get my mask, wait. Do all of that stuff. Like I said, I'm excited to, like get my teeth fixed but because i could see like how like they're just not perfect it started to bother me so fixing my smile is gonna be gonna feel amazing my orthodontist even said like my teeth are gonna look so much different like with the plan that he has my smile is gonna be so much different so we're both excited to see like these results i've had this orthodontist since i was like 17 years old so over 10 years um I just had to clear some space on my camera. I just died. But yeah, I was saying, like, he's he's a great doctor. My dad sent up fish 
um, breadfruit and pear from Jamaica because my siblings just came back with their kids. Uh, my, well, my brother and his wife and the kids, they just came back a few days ago and he sent some stuff up for me. God bless his soul. Can't wait to go back and see my dad again. Um, maybe next time I'll vlog when I'm in Jamaica like, a little bit more, but I, I don't think I did. I don't remember vlogging on that trip in March, but yeah, it was my first time seeing my dad in like over five years. So I loved every moment of it, but I can't wait to go back and eat just everything, just pick and eat catch and eat like i just can't wait but i'm about to get on the highway and safety first so i will talk to you guys a little bit later all right guys we're in a we're officially in invisalign bay my lips are dry so <sighs> it feels weird because like i'm surprised i'm even talking properly because it's not like having my retainer where i just had a tray at the top i now have a tray at the top and the bottom there's like bumps on it let me see if i can show you guys there's like little bumps on it that they call like attachments so i have that oh i just spat i'm more most annoyed about like taking it out every time i have to eat or drink and like take it out in public but i got this big old bag so i guess we can go through that really quick so this is my invisalign case um it literally just comes with it's so fancy right it, it better be fancy all this damn money uh, it comes with instructions. It comes with my Invisalign case, which is black. My other one is white. So this is kind of cute. I love me some black. Comes with the crystals to clean your retainers. I only have 10 trays and I'm a 10 day wearer. So yeah, 10 weeks. Is that right? No, that's not right. I These are all my trays. Um, and I only have bumps in the front because they're really just trying to correct the front. I guess my molars are okay. Um, so I really want to see what the day 10s look like. These are definitely a lot more like flexible than the retainers because I want to see what my teeth are going to look like at the end of the treatment. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm excited to see Wagwan with the Wagwan. Um, yeah, I really just wanted to like fix those areas again. I hope it's a, a big difference. Um, what else came in here? Oh, this is from today. Wait, did, did she give me the yeah? So, this is like my travel case that comes with. I think this is really cute. Um, I have to take progress pictures and put them in the app. So, they gave me this because I gotta stretch my mouth out. This is what they use to like cure the bumps on my teeth. They call these the, the attachment templates. So like the little bumps on my teeth, this is what they use to align them. And then these are called, um, she said some spongy things. Like if I need to like help press the retainer in, I'll use these, um, just some like floss to clean my teeth. Anyways, I ran out of space, but yeah, I just got to throw some travel toothpaste in there. Uh, I'm tired, but I hope there's a huge difference after these braces because, child, as much as it's not as expensive as the train tracks, these expensive. So, we're in Invisalign Bay. Does it look like I have Invisalign in? I guess up close it does because you can see... The bumps but from far away not really i'm gonna get going this vlog has been all over the place i've really just been not feeling well and um yeah i feel like i'm overthinking my content and like things that i'm doing these days which kind of sucks so this is literally snippets of me in this vlog literally snippets of me starting the vlog over and over and over again and i really want to be consistent in terms of getting my videos out i'm gonna get ready for the gym i was gonna go to a cycling class but i had a migraine today so i've been waiting for that to stop i want to share with you guys something i went to um where did i go today i went to square one today it's called j'adore lore um, and it smells amazing. Like, you really only need, like, two spritz of this, like, on your wrist, on your neck, or whatever, and, like, you're good. 
So they had like a little experience today at square one. So I got like a sample of the one I already have. I got the new one. And then like I took a picture in the experience and it's so cute. Came um, I'm going to a wedding on Thursday. So I got a dress I and then I'm getting my hair done on Wednesday. I'm just putting my wig back on and then cutting it into a bob. I want to do something different, something cute. Hopefully it looks good. I'm not sure. Um, and then I'm still thinking of getting silver shoes or wearing one of the shoes I already have. So I'm going to try my dress on and like video call my mom and show her, see what she thinks if I need like black shoes or if I should wear silver shoes. Um, that's pretty much what's happening right now. I'm like watching. I need to book an appointment with my eye doctor because now that I'm losing weight, these glasses look big and my other glasses keep falling off my face and it's driving me nuts but i'm getting ready for the gym and i'm really just in love with the woman that she has become like i've always liked her but like with time and social media and popularity and things like that things changed about her as she began to evolve but now like she's so peaceful and so humble and I we're really feeling like the shift and really going through a change when it comes to like life and maturity and like inner beauty and just embracing that change so i'm like super excited i get super excited when she uploads because i just feel like there's only a few people that i can really relate to on youtube these days and she's one of them so if there's anything that's going to spark creativity that's going to spark that's going to spark like that joy that happiness that i need to continue to upload and post and like share things with you guys it's going to be people like this so I'm going to do my hair edges because I look a mess. I took my bun out because I was having a headache. But I'm taking my hair out tomorrow and washing it. And then um, we're going to head to the gym. This honey infused lip oil. I do not know how to pronounce this brand, but lip oil, um, I really like it. Yeah. Literally like oil. Like it's not like sticky. I promise, I swear it's my last thing. Let's taste it. Let's see how it tastes something i'm gonna write my man to taste it he's gonna say it's good it's a lot going on this week okay i can't do the schedule on the camera beauty bakery so i'm gonna try this so then and then we also got this beauty uh um like an uh, august favorites video so you just they came out great i used no okay just got to the gym i'm not gonna take any pre-workout it's too late for pre-workout and i haven't really been needing pre-workout like i've honestly just been I'm not coming out babe keep driving i've honestly just been like drinking a lot of water bcas after my workout um and i've been trying to cut down on the caffeine like i don't know if i will ever like I i'm gonna try and get through this jar that i have but i don't think i will ever um get pre-workout again i'm gonna do like a really long stretch and then oh wow they just turn on the outer lights i'm gonna do a really long stretch and then we're gonna hit a bit of upper body because i've been neglecting upper body because um probably bicep curls shoulder press um hammer curls seven seven sevens and then we'll do finish up with some um squat deadlift combo six rounds and um some sumo deadlifts that's probably all i'm gonna get up to today my workout's been pretty much the same i'm gonna go because i talk too much I was gonna end the vlog like clips ago I just 
never ended the vlog. Um, today I went downtown, went to the office, worked, went to Anejo, which is like a Mexican restaurant for like happy hour with my girl. And then I had to go home to grab packages so I can film some content because it's a busy week for me this week. I all didn't even wash my hair. I don't even know if I'm going to go to the gym tonight because it's 7.50. I haven't even washed and blow dried my hair. Maybe I'll have time. I'm not sure. But I wanted to share with you guys what I got from Sephora before I end this vlog. So I've been obsessed with these fringe lashes from Sephora. And they had a sale. So I picked these up. Um, they're regular, I think $14 if I'm not mistaken, and I got them for like $6.75. So I got three pairs of my favorite lashes right now. And then I also picked up Craze, same price. Um, these are dramatic lashes. Um, I am excited to try these, even though they're not like um, short in the inner corner and like long on the outside. I definitely think this, these would be really cute. And then because I'm going to the wedding on Thursday and I want something that's going to mimic more of like a volume set, like what it would look like when I would get my lashes done at my lash tech, I picked up these lashes. They're called Charming by Sephora. I bought these regular price. They're like 14 bucks. So in total, I got five pairs of lashes. I also picked up a new brow pencil in the color Granite. This is from Sephora, as you guys can see. Um, in the color granite it has the pencil on one side and then the brush on the other um, I'm hoping that it's similar to my benefit brow pencil just because I have been looking for a dupe for the benefit brow pencil because it's so expensive and I'm trying to spend like less money on my cosmetics so if I can still get stuff from Sephora but for like a more decent price that's what I'm trying to do, but if it doesn't work well, I will be going back to my Benefit Brow. Um, I also picked up this Lip Sleeping Mask by Sephora. It was $7, so I couldn't pass it. I'm looking for like dupes for like other people that are interested in the Laneige Sleeping Mask, but like don't want to spend all that money. So this was only $7, and this is the Hot Chocolate Fragrance. It has shea butter, so I'm excited to like see like how this works, what the texture is like, if it's similar, if it's better, and like way less than half the price. And then the samples that I chose were just two skincare samples, Sakil's Ultra Facial 24 Hour Moisturizer, and then I just got the Origin um, Into the Glow Brightening Serum Ginseng Scent or Ginseng Glow Mask Serum, sorry. So yeah, I got these, I'm super tired, kind of have a headache, so I'm really thinking, what I, about what I want to do. I think if I wake up early tomorrow morning, I'm going to do my laundry instead of doing them tonight. So that way I can go to the gym really quick, take a shower, wash my hair, probably just section it in four and blow dry it in the morning. Um, yeah, towel dry tonight, blow dry tomorrow kind of thing because I'm tired. So yeah, and now I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. I know it's not much of a vlog because I didn't do... Um, much but this is more of like days in my life like some days i do things some days i don't some days i feel like picking up the camera some days i don't but talking to you guys is enough for me so i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video peace